Next is a great book with it where it takes a woman from every relationship possible from the point of she's not in a relationship on how to get into one. Once she's in one, how to handle being in one or to make sure that she's in the right one and make a decision either she stays or she leaves. Also, once the marriage actually goes into place, then it's also a decision where she's going to either keep the marriage hot and fiery or it's not working and to notice the flags. And then it takes her to out of the marriage right. and back around again. So it's kind of like the vicious circle of life, which we all know it to be. So it's every relationship stage, which mm -hmm. is amazing because it's not just about dating. It's about everything. The first thing is that you are whole yourself. It's important that you've got yourself in a good place, that you personally are on a project, that you've taken time to work on yourself and you've got all the tools you need to move forward. Uh, the second one is to really evaluate uh, the person that you're going out with or seeing and making sure that not only is the quality of life there, but also the similarities and the trust and building a good foundation in uh, a relationship is first and foremost. And the third thing probably would be that um, the respect is always in place. I think mm -hmm. respect is the number one issue in relationships. So those three things are quite important. Well, there's a lot of them and it's, it's unfortunate because as women, we want so much to be in love and we want that love to stay. And uh, we try really hard to, you know, make that happen for ourselves so we don't see the red flags. But many times, you know, the guy is showing up on a date and he's asking you, you know, do you have any money? Can you pay the bill? And we think, oh, well, you know, mm -hmm. he's just got on his luck. Or, you know, yeah. the guy, you know, shows up and he's, you know, he can't drive because he's been drinking too much. And we think, oh, God, hopefully he doesn't have a drinking problem. I just had a really bad day. Or, you know, you're dating him and next thing you know, he's got lipstick on his collar that he's been out with a girl for lunch and oh maybe that's his mm -hmm. you know sister so we unfortunately don't look at the flags we should be looking at and questioning and uh, sometimes self-esteem plays a big role in that because I've been putting people together seriously since I was before junior high school I was fixing up my friends in grade <laughs> school I was always like as soon as you're old enough to have a boyfriend I think that was my calling and um, mm -hmm. uh, my very first match was my brother and uh, my sister-in-law of 38 years now and I remember my brother saying, oh, she's geographically undesirable. That used to be an old, old term. And I said, no, she's not. She's a perfect woman for you. So 38 years later. And so I just uh, parlayed that into a great business and um, started off slow and just built a great rapport with uh, San Diego clientele.